So where do we use this wheel? It's all over the place. One of the best examples, I mean, there's so many very good examples for wheel, is the Chopin Etude Opus 25, number one in A flat major. So if you really want to practice the wheel, this is a great piece. Like I explained in my other video of the wheel exercise, let's say right hand down, left hand up, the wrists are up, and going the other way, the wrists are down. So you have wheels here. This is a great piece for wheel. Of course, the same would be the case for the opus 10 number one, but that's much harder than the 25 number one. Uh, just for fun, I show you an example in uh, the third movement of the Appassionata Sonata by Beethoven. This one. So you have this. This is the same thing. These arpeggios. The wheel is, wrist is coming down to play these notes. So, we're not really going down this time, but we're just taking it again. And we're not using this so much. See, if I use my fingers, it looks like this. Now I try to connect my body to the instrument more by using the wheel. And now, this is rotation. So, most of the time, we're always having a wheel or rotation in, in the music, in so much of what we do. Even if it's something like this, this thing here, it's also little wheels. A scale is going down, even if it's just three notes, that's a little wheel. The wrist is up and the weight is transferring in the front. And then we go get the next four notes. Again, the wrist is up. The weight is transferring, not with the fingers, but with the wrist. So, we have three little wheels here. And that, my friend, is a little demo of the wheel and how we can use it. It will not only make it easier to play, it's a lot easier to play if you're using more than just your fingers. Uh, it, it's also going to sound better. The, the extent of what you can do with the instrument is much greater because you're more connected, your body to the instrument, if you're using more than just your fingers. Your fingers, this is pretty much ending the connection right here. Wrists are a little bit better. We're using a bit more of our body. Now arms, doing this. Now at least you're connected here. The arms are also connected easily to the back. Back to play, and you have an entire trunk. Both your arms are connected to your trunk. So, controlling 10 fingers, that's really difficult. Controlling two arms, much better. One trunk, that's the best.